This is real talk. Good morning, Mental Valley. As you know, I'm Philip Butler. And I'm Elani Gibson. And, and this, this is Real talk. talk. It's February, which means love is in the air. For those of us with problems of procrastination, here's Michaela with some last minute Valentine's Day gifts. Here are some of the best Valentine's Day gifts. Rings are cute and sentimental. Some people prefer notes and letters over store-bought things. Cute little charm bracelets are always a good idea. Spend quality time with them go out on a dinner date. These are some of the worst Valentine's Day gifts you can get somebody. Don't get the basic heart-shaped box of chocolates. Nobody wants that. Don't get them a basic bouquet of flowers. Get them a bouquet of flowers that they actually like. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. Socks are a good gift idea for Christmas, not for Valentine's Day. Thanks, Michaela. Hopefully that helps someone out. Leilani, how do you feel about Valentine's Day? Me, personally, I'm very satisfied with Valentine's Day. Well, let's go to Damien with some of our classmates' feelings on Valentine's Day. People have very mixed feelings about Valentine's Day. Some people love it, and a lot of people hate it. Today, we're going to find out why. Um. I don't hate that I have, no I'm sorry, I hate that I don't have a valentine all the time, Valentine's Day, never have those. So what I like about Valentine's Day is spending it with my family, especially my wife, trying to, you know, make her feel special and everything. Um, and uh, what I hate or used to hate about Valentine's Day is uh, earlier, earlier when I was younger, I would, I would a lot of times forget. So I'd be at like Kroger trying to get flowers like at the last minute or something like that. And so you kind of learn from those mistakes. You get better as you get older, um, but I just—it's um, an important day to spend with family and um, and people that you love. Thank you. Much. Don't forget it. I hate Valentine's Day because all the restaurants closed. I love Valentine's Day because free food. Free <laughs> food. What do you love or hate about Valentine's Day? I love spending time with my girlfriend and giving and receiving the gifts. So. I love the candy. The candy was amazing. Um, do you love or hate about Valentine's Day? I mean, I really like the candy. I, I like the chocolate and stuff for Valentine's. What I love about Valentine's is when I actually have a Valentine's and get like a flowers and teddy bears and stuff. But one thing I don't like about Valentine's is when everybody coming in school knowing they ain't got no Valentine's. They come in here with hearts, balloons, and everything. We all love and get <sighs> Too much. Very great reasons. I hope everybody has a fantastic Valentine's Day. If you don't have a date, well, let's hope your parents get you something at least. Thanks, Damon. On Valentine's Day, some people go out to eat, some people eat in at home, and some people don't celebrate at all. What I'm curious is to what our Mustangs have planned for this Valentine's Day. Well, Philip, it just so happened that I went around asking some of our Mustangs what they had planned for Valentine's Day. Well, let's see that. Valentine's Day is here, and everybody has that special someone they're going to spend it with. Let's find out some people's plans for Valentine's Day. Plan for Valentine's this year, I'm, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass out five roses to all the queens. That's important to me. So that's my plan for Valentine's. Oh, I'm going to school. Don't we have school? Yep. Spend time with my girlfriend. I don't have any plans because I don't have a man. <laughs> but if you have an uncle, it's about 50, 51. You know, I can't be taking an old man. Um, yeah, who's nice? Loves Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and it's one to go out. Hey, holla at your girl. Jeff and chill. Well, we usually don't have romantic plans, my husband and I. Um, we usually just celebrate at home. So he usually brings me like chocolate covered strawberries. And we have a date in the dining room, and the kids are usually in another room, but that's what we do. So. I'm finna go home, I'm finna play the game, post on my story, who trying to play Call of Duty and hop on. I plan to go home, have a presumptuous sleep, and miss calls, but, uh, I'm, uh, uh. I plan on getting my lady some chocolate, 
And if she at right, I'm gonna ice her neck out. My plans for Valentine's Day is to go out to eat and go to sleep. All right, my plans for Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go out to eat, bring my mama some, and play the game. Some people have really interesting plans for the holidays, some don't. For real talk, I'm Leilani Gibson, back to you. Thanks for that, Leilani. Now, I know not everybody has the best Valentine's Day, but here's live with the worst Valentine's Day experiences. Good morning, happy Valentine's Day from the Valley students. Today is one of the most romantic holidays of the year, but what about the not so romantic moments on this day? We're gonna be asking students what their worst Valentine's Day moment was around in the Midland Valley holidays. Um, I got a card that uh, that told me to go poop. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was it. That was, that was it. Okay. Yep. Uh, I got rejected. It was pretty sad. Yeah, that's about it. Right. Right. Nah, you good. When this kid is named, uh, you know, I don't even gotta know his name, bro, but he gave me like a box of chocolate, bro, and I didn't even like him like that. Okay, well there was this one time that I got an entire box of chocolates from my girlfriend. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot about those chocolates and I left them out on my desk. My dog, Noodles, uh, ran up to the chocolate, ate all of them, and then proceeded to run away from the house and we couldn't find her. So... Oh wow, okay. Hey Mason, what's your worst Valentine's Day moment? Alright, so basically, I took this guy to this buffet, right? And uh, I had got him a little cake. Right, because they were serving cake. And it was me, my mom, and him. And he, and we were enjoying the cake, he was being really awkward about it, and I was really confused. And I was like, hey, are you all right? He was like, I don't think we should be together anymore. On Valentine's Day, this was on. Hopefully Midland Valley students, things turn for the better. This is Real Talk, I'm Donna D. Ambrose. Have a lovely Valentine's Day, back to you. Thanks, lady. I'm not sure if dogs are supposed to eat chocolate, but anyways, I'm sure that someone has had a good Valentine's Day. Don't worry, we got cold with some of our Mustangs great Valentine's Day experiences. Good morning, Midland Valley. Today is finally Valentine's Day. And with Valentine's Day comes really great memories. Today we're gonna to be asking students what their favorite Valentine's Day memory is. What is your best Valentine's Day memory? Best Valentine's Day memory? Man, I got my dream offer from Georgia and my girl bought me some chocolates. Go down. Valentine's memory was when I was in elementary school and we kept trading valentines and one year I got a giant stuffed animal. What's your best Valentine's Day? Uh, when I got my girlfriend the ring she's wearing. Alright. Those are some pretty great Valentine's Day memories. For real talk, I'm Cole. Back to you. Thanks Cole. Coming up after the break we'll find out some Black History Month info. Stay tuned. Oh god, I didn't see you there. My bad. Has this situation ever happened to you? You might need glasses, our new product. Why'd you slap me? Well, can you see now? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> oh, it's you again. This trust me, I got glasses this time. I won't run into you this time. Be right and see right. Feeling soulless and sad? We'll have a Sour Patch Kid. They'll have you feeling brand new. Sour Patch Kids, get some color. Well, you see that girl, bro? Yeah, what about her? I'm trying to get her number. I don't know, but I kind of shy. I don't know if I should get her or not. Hey, don't be shy. Go get her, bro. All right, I'm going to go get her. Hey. Yo, Excuse me? Yo, can I get your number? Mm-mm, you're not really giving. What you mean I'm not giving? Yeah, I can't even do it. 
don't even get her number, bro. She talking about I wasn't giving her something. Like, what does that even mean, bro? Like, like, I don't even know what to do that, bro. I don't even know. Man, I got something for you. What you mean? What's this? Don't worry about it, it's trust me. You again? Chill, I'm a changed man now. You look the same to me. I can get your number now? Yeah, I guess if you to put the glasses on. Get your sunglasses today and you can pull females like me. Sunglasses, the confidence booster. Welcome back to Real Talk. Welcome back. As you all know, this month is Black History Month. There are many things that have been invented by African Americans that our country uses every day. Many is here to tell us more. Here are some black history facts. Potato chips were made by George Beck, who was also known as George Brown. And he was a renowned African American chef who worked at Moon's Lake House in Saratoga Springs. George was born on July 15, 1824 and died on July 22, 1914. The home security system was invented by Marie von Bertrand Brown in 1966. She was an American nurse and innovator who invented a video home security system along with her husband, Albert Brown, who was an electronics technician. She was born on October 30, 1922 and died on February 2, 1999. Alfred Krell invented the ice cream scooper in 1897. He was an American businessman and inventor and is best known for inventing the ice cream molding disher. Unfortunately, Krell did not become famous for the invention of his ice cream scooper. It spread widely so quickly that people soon forgot or never knew Krell as the inventor. He was born on September 4th, 1866 and died on May 6, 1919. Our heating and ventilation system was invented by David Crosswhite in 1920. He was an African-American mechanical and electrical engineer, inventor, and writer. He was known for creating the heating system for Radio City Music Hall in New York. He was born on May 27, 1898 and died on February 25, 1976. The thermostat was invented by Frederick Jones in 1935, who was an American inventor, entrepreneur, and engineer. He was a winner of the National Medal of Technology and inductee of the National Inventors Hall of Fame. He was born on May 17, 1893 and died on February 21st, 1961. Those were your Black History Facts for today. Thanks, Manny. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Just one of the many quotes from this legend being spotlighted here today. Here's Matt with some facts. There are a lot of people involved in Black History, but one you may not know is Muhammad Ali. Born Cassius Clay. He converted to the Islam religion and changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was a professional boxer but was also a black history activist. His advocacy began with awareness of racism and supremacy in Kentucky. He even used his profound boxing career to support his awareness for black history. He consistently challenged white supremacy, racism, and segregation in the age of Jim Crow laws. In 2012, he was awarded the Liberty Medal. He unfortunately died in, on June 3, 2016 at the age of 74, fighting Parkinson's disease. Well, this is the Black History Newscast. For real talk, this is Matt. Back to you. Thanks, Matt. With it being Black History Month, we decided to put our teachers to the test. Here's Jordan with the Black History Knowledge Test. Even though today is Valentine's Day, let's not forget about Black History Month. Today I'll be quizzing some teachers to see what they know about Black History Month. What amendment abolished slavery? The 13th. All right! Who is the, who is the first Major League Baseball player? Who is the first Black Major League um, Baseball player? The first Black? Who was that? First black. Can I get a hint? Starts with a J. Starts with a J? Was it Jackie Robinson? Yeah, yeah. we good. We good. That's all right. That's it. <laughs> Yours is, what city is known as the birth of hip hop? The birth of hip hop? City? City. Um, that's around my area. Uh, I'm going to say um, 
Brooklyn, you, Brooklyn, you, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, Bronx, New York, Bronx, 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 who was the first black self-major millionaire? I have no idea. Madam CJ Walker. Walker. Hair products. Okay. Let every voice in sing till. Hey, you call Sue. I don't know. Er answer is Earth and Heaven Rings. Earth and Heaven Rings. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and there you have it, as usual. Some know it, some don't. I'm Jordan from Real Talk. Back to you. Thanks, Jordan. This has been great. Happy Valentine's Day. <coughs> I hope everybody got what they wanted. As you know, I'm Elani Gibson. I'm Philip Butler. And this, this has been, been Real Talk. Talk. See, See you all next time. time.